What's up guys, this is Blake with Feeling to Function. Today I prepared all my lunches for the week and in doing so, I turned a mess of uncooked rice, frozen vegetables, pork chops, spices, and everything into six easy portable Tupperwares. Now I have these ready for the week. I'm gonna be ready for whatever comes my way. I'm gonna have healthy options and I'm going to stay on track no matter what happens. So in this video I'm going to show you how I did this, what I did in these, and I just want you to keep in mind that what I did today, you are going to have to take and modify so that it tastes good to you, so that the amounts are good for your body. For me, each of these is about 500 calories. It's a good like small meal for the middle of the day or something. If I'm in a hurry, you can take it to school with me and that way. I'm not stressed having to go out to lunch or get something out of the vending machine and this supplies me with a ton of fiber, a good amount of protein, some healthy fats, and it just keeps me fueled throughout the day. So I hope this is helpful for you and you can start preparing your own lunches. Okay, to make my lunches in bulk for the week, I have six different Tupperwares laid out. Then with those, I'm going to portion out evenly my brown rice, a couple bags of vegetables that I boiled. I'm going to add a bunch of random spices and then I have some lean pork chops that I'm going to slice up into portions and then cook into each one and then we're going to throw it all in the pan and make kind of like a stir fry. Okay so what I've done I've just taken the rice, the vegetables and mixed them into all these different Tupperwares pretty evenly portioned and if they're not perfect it's not going to matter because at the end of the week I'm going to eat all this anyways. I'm going to have the same amount of calories consumed even if that one has a little more rice and that one has a little more vegetables it's really not going to matter so then my protein i've cubed up my pork into little cubes and i'm going to put it in the pan and cook it up and then add in the vegetables uh, that was about two servings of meat so i'll add in two tupperwares and then just kind of stir it all together and show you guys what that looks like Okay, to start off, I've got my pan on a medium heat. If you wanted to add in some healthy fat and extra calories, you could use olive oil or some form of vegetable oil. I'm just going to be using a little bit of nonstick cooking spray today. So I'm just going to coat my pan in that. I have it on a medium heat, and I'm going to add in my meat. Okay, as my meat begins to cook down, I'm going to add some spices onto it. And it's kind of open. I'll probably add like cumin, some garlic powder. You just got to find something that works for you and add it. And then as my meat, once my meat starts to cook a little bit, I'll add in the other ingredients. Okay, so as you can see, the meat's starting to cook up a little bit, and it's seasoned. I put some cumin, some garlic powder, and a little bit of pepper on it. And so now I'm just gonna add in the vegetables and rice and mix it all together. I'm pretty much just taking them out of their Tupperwares. I'll let all the flavor kind of mix together. And then I'm just gonna dish them right back into those two Tupperwares. And if you think about it, really right here I'm eating like pork chops, uh, rice, and vegetables. So it's like, man, chicken, rice, and vegetables are so boring. But quite frankly, this doesn't look that boring to me and it tastes really good. I have it all the time, not because it's the only thing I can eat to progress, but because it tastes good and it has a lot of health benefits. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I just added in some pepper, some oregano, some basil leaves, and some hot sauce, and that's just gonna add a lot to the flavor. Um, and as far as amounts go in this, I don't know what my calories are in this exactly. I can, I'll add it up for you at the end. But yours might be a little bit different. You don't have to use these exact ratios of things. If you need more protein in your diet than me, then add more of your protein source. If you need less carbs, avoid the rice and just use vegetables and if you don't like hot stuff don't put hot sauce in it you guys have to learn to incorporate things that you enjoy into your diet and find healthy alternatives to the sinful things that you need to start cutting out of your diet okay now that this is all done cooking up i'm just going to take this and put it back in the tupperware okay kind of the same rule of thumb here i'm probably going to make a mess um but try and portion these two out, split it as evenly as you can, but if it's not perfect, 
at the end of the week you've eaten both these and you're gonna have the same amount of calories consumed as if they were weighed out in exactly the same. Okay, now that those are both in their Tupperwares, we have gone from that to that, and it may not look that great on camera, but I promise it tastes really good. Now we're just going to repeat that process two more times, and we will have our lunches ready for the week. So just spray the non-stick cooking spray in the pan, add in the protein, add in the vegetables, stir it up, dish them back out. Hey guys, so as you can see, four of these are down. I still got two to go. And I'm out of pork chops. I had two trays, but my mom wants to use one for dinner. So I've just dethawed some chicken breasts that I had in the freezer. And then instead of nonstick cooking spray, I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil, just about a tablespoon of it, to keep the fat about the same in all these meals. And the protein will still be there. Okay, there you have it about an hour later I have six meals prepared and I'm set for the week no matter what comes up I'll have a healthy option to turn to and I hope that this is something you enjoyed uh, just mix it up